Welcome. In this video, we'll try and give an overview of a less well-known but very useful technical indicator, the Ichimoku Cloud. Also known as the Ichimoku Kinko Hio, this is a unique and comprehensive indicator that provides insights into price action, momentum, and potential support and resistance levels. It was developed in Japan by journalist Goichi Hosoda and introduced to the financial world in the late 1960s. Hosoda spent years testing this indicator, and he designed it with a specific goal in mind, to make quick, clear decisions on the price trend and momentum. Although it's pretty new in Western technical analysis, the Ichimoku cloud has gained popularity among traders for its ability to offer a complete picture of market trends with just one glance. At first, the Ichimoku cloud can seem a bit complex, especially if you're used to more traditional charting techniques, like candlestick patterns or simple moving averages. However, once you understand each component, it becomes easier to see why this indicator has been so widely adopted. The Ichimoku cloud offers more than just price direction. It helps us understand the strength and momentum of trends, which is incredibly valuable in predicting future price movements. Let's break down the components of the Ichimoku cloud, which might look a bit unconventional but hold significant meaning. There are five key lines in the Ichimoku cloud model. Let's explore them. First, the conversion line, Tenkan Sen. This line, typically shown in blue, represents the average of the highest high and the lowest low over the past nine periods. Think of it as a short-term indicator that tracks immediate price movement, akin to a moving average, but it reacts more quickly to recent price changes. When the conversion line is moving up, it indicates short-term bullish momentum, while a downward slope reflects bearish sentiment. Second, the baseline, Kijin Sen. Shown in red on most charts, this line is similar to a medium-term moving average, calculated over the past 26 periods. Like the conversion line, it represents the average of the highest high and lowest low, but over a longer period. Traders often view the baseline as a key level of support or resistance. When the conversion line crosses above the baseline, it's generally seen as a bullish signal, while a downward cross suggests bearishness. Third, the leading span A, Senku span A. This line, one of the cloud boundaries, is calculated by averaging the conversion line and baseline and then projecting it 26 periods into the future. Leading span A provides a dynamic level of support or resistance, depending on whether prices are above or below it. Fourth, the leading span B, Senku span B. The second cloud boundary is calculated by averaging the highest high and the lowest low over the past 52 periods, then projecting it 26 periods into the future. When leading span A is above leading span B, the area between them is shaded green, forming the cloud itself. When leading span B is above leading span A, the cloud is shaded red. A green cloud signifies potential support while a red cloud represents resistance. And fifth, the lagging span, Chiku span. The fifth component, shown in green in most Ichimoku charts, is the current price plotted 26 periods back. It's useful for confirming trends, as it shows how current prices relate to past performance. When the lagging span is above previous price action, it suggests bullish momentum, and when it's below, it indicates bearish sentiment. So, how do we interpret the cloud? The cloud, or Kumo, is the most distinctive and visually engaging part of the Ichimoku chart, often colored in either green or red, or using both green and red, depending on direction. When prices are above the cloud, the trend is considered bullish. When prices are below the cloud, the trend is considered bearish. A breakout above or below the cloud can serve as a signal to buy or sell, though traders generally wait for confirmation from other components to avoid false signals. The thickness of the cloud also matters. A thicker cloud implies stronger support or resistance, whereas a thin cloud is more easily penetrable, signaling a potentially weaker trend. This feature makes the Ichimoku cloud useful not only for spotting trends, but also for assessing the strength of those trends. We do think a little side note is important here. This indicator, like the MACD and all the others we talk about, can be challenging sometimes to apply to actual price action. For example, we find that some indicators at their extremes are signaling the opposite of what the textbooks might say. That's why the tired expression, 
do your own research is very good advice. Indicators require you to study them. They are not a black box solution. Let's comment on the Ichimoku charts versus candlestick charts. Many traders who are familiar with candlestick charts find the Ichimoku cloud to be an excellent complementary tool. While candlestick patterns provide insights into specific price movements over a short period, the Ichimoku cloud helps contextualize those movements within broader trends and momentum. It doesn't replace candlestick analysis. Rather, it enhances it by giving a bird's eye view of the market. Hey, before I forget, again, if you find this useful, please like and subscribe. Now back to business. Here's an example for what I was describing. A bullish candlestick pattern near the bottom of the cloud might signal a potential reversal within an overall bearish trend. Conversely, a bearish pattern near the top of the cloud could hint at resistance in an otherwise bullish market. Some traders have said that Ichimoku is like taking the entire trend and condensing it into a single snapshot. The cloud helps make sense of the candlestick data by framing it within the ongoing trend. The cloud itself shifts colors as trends strengthen or weaken. If prices hover within the cloud, the stock is in a consolidation phase, and breakout traders may watch closely for movement either above or below the cloud to signal the next trend. It should be fun for you to go look at the current price of AI and compare it with the data from the day we wrote the script. October 28th, 2024. Here are some tips from traders on using the Ichimoku cloud. It's used in trend confirmation. I use the cloud mainly for confirmation, says one experienced trader. If my other indicators suggest a buy, but the price is below the cloud, I'll usually hold off. Being above or below the cloud can save you from jumping into a trend prematurely. Another comment says patience is key. The trader points out, the Ichimoku cloud is not a quick trade indicator. It's about capturing the bigger picture, so be patient and wait for clear signals. If you just jump on every line cross, you'll get a lot of noise. Use in combination. Many traders recommend using the Ichimoku cloud in combination with other indicators, especially for shorter-term trading. It's powerful, but don't rely on it alone, says one user. Combine it with volume indicators or RSI, to get a more accurate picture. So how do you use the Ichimoku cloud in your trading? If you're new to the Ichimoku cloud, like many of us, start by identifying whether the price is above or below the cloud. This is your first indication of trend direction. Then watch for crossovers between the conversion and baselines for entry or exit signals. The lagging span can act as a confirmation tool, verifying if the current trend is aligned with past price action, it's essential to remember that the Ichimoku cloud is not a standalone solution. As with any indicator, it has limitations and should be used in conjunction with other tools and your own judgment. The Ichimoku cloud can seem a bit overwhelming at first, but once you're familiar with its components, it can become an incredibly powerful tool in your trading toolkit. In essence, the Ichimoku cloud is like a complete trading system in one indicator, making it highly efficient for traders who want to quickly assess market conditions. With practice and experience, the Ichimoku Cloud can help you navigate complex markets with more clarity and confidence. We hope this explanation is helpful and that you'll come back to the channel and visit us again. Nothing we've said here is investment advice. It is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Seek the help of a properly registered investment professional before taking any action. This media may contain ideas we have adopted or not, as we see fit and we may have positions and securities mentioned.